Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and from the last video if you remember we saw how we could select the values of these input fields here these um, drop downs and everything but um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get to the actually selected um, option um, field here so why would you want to do that? All right. So let me give you a scenario where and sometimes you just don't want the value, let's say GB or US or SA, but you actually want the text of the currently selected option. So in that case, you will need access to um, the currently selected option field itself. And how do we do that? First, we have to um, start from the form. So we'll say selected, let's create a variable, and we'll say dollar sign, we pass in a string, my form, which is then a class of the form. And we'll say select since we have only select one select tag there um, that's fine we'll say option so that drills down into the select field and select the options there now we can use the pseudo um, filter here and just say select the one that is selected so we'll say, we'll say this um, selected and before we do that let's just change this to United States so you can see that um, a different one works as well so now let's see what's in the selected variable as you can see is that whole um, option field here it's just not the value so now how do we get the text here that's very simple um, if you watch my text um, selector video previously you will see that we can use the text method to do that so we'll say text equal to selected dot text okay so now when I press enter and I check what's in text it should give us United States all right so that's it guys that's how you get to the text of a selected drop down list here and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in other videos cheers bye bye